Sir. Make that day. There he is. Now I want to hear. Speak of the devil and death shall come. Hi, death. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. Yep. Not sure Drazer can speak currently since he's still currently a bear. Uh, My I point think, exactly. I'm pretty sure we ended right. I think Algon found that plus two hand crossbow in that little crawl space there. That's when we ended. Uh, right. I stay in the water now? Just you mean... sitting. <laughs> You mean right after you got that unexpected and extra 2,000 XP? Yes, yes. Is there also a Holy Avenger lance in there? <laughs> I've been I've been wanting those for a while. <laughs> no, you don't want that. <laughs> yeah. No, Holy it Avenger. was um a Tome of Leadership and Influence, not Holy Avenger. Sorry. Oh yes, yeah, that's, that's what it was. Here's the thing. You guys are in the cave right now. Me and me and Dre's are a okay. We can't have rocks falling on top of us. <laughs> That's true. And then the roof caved in. Oh no. That would be so Just... mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and unexpected. I know. had some food arrive inopportunely late. So I guess for as long as I have it, I'll be in a good mood. Oh shit. We have a we have an opposites for ones. Mine actually <laughs> came early. Ah. Ah. Usually I'm the late one. Um I had one quick question for one of you. So was it really a stingray and not a jellyfish? Yeah, it was a stingray. Yes, yep. definitely a stingray. A uh, stingray right to the heart. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think I, I can't remember if it was like the episode that he was looking for jellyfish, or they just had like a close encounter with one of them, and he was like pretty critical for one time. I don't remember wh which episode it was, but he got pretty close to one before. Two, he was like running through the surf or something when it happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've been in water with stingrays, and you're supposed to like not even take your feet off the sand. You're supposed to like shuffle through to not like freak him out or something. Right. I mean, was so long ago. That was like a decade ago at this point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was that for? Uh, Beyond Tony was acting up again. Uh, yeah, man, it seems like he does it every time. Yeah, yeah. New, new game. Well, I guess that could have been charisma. Mm, not much charisma. Up. Yeah. So yeah. Um. There's a whole thing. Check on your Beyond Twenty to make sure that you don't have digital dice roll. The D and D Beyond's digital dice turned off. And yep, send Beyond cool. Twenty rolls to Roll Twenty table only, and then refresh your D and D Beyond if you're using that. What happened to me too is if you already have the dice rolls turned off, toggle it on then off, and then refresh everything. That works for me. And there are dice on Roll Twenty if you're wanting that kind of. There we go. Yeah, there it is. It's an easy fix. It's just frustrating that it happens like all the time now. Yeah, it's a, it is a bit annoying. Well, I'm using this is for this campaign. I my character sheet is actually in roll twenty. 
Don't worry about Beyond D&D. Mine is too. I just use D&D Beyond. Yeah, it is a bit easier. D&D. Well, it's because my subclass I don't have on Roll20. Because it's off the main book. And I have everything on D&D Beyond anyway, so. Fair enough. Get moving in just a minute or two. No yeah. worries, man. Where I've been one of these days, I'm gonna make a new overlay for this for our game. This what? For for this game, I'm gonna make a new overlay for the stream. <laughs> I feel bad. I kind of put this one together slapstick. <clears throat> really no. good. Um. That would be fine. <laughs> All right, so the six of you had traveled from Tribor toward somewhere in the north, overland, and um, toward nightfall, you had found a cave in which to hide from the elements, but as you were setting up, Several trees seem to have come alive and accosted you. Okay, with a damn good call. Bought off. Um, some of them, as I recall, did catch fire, though. Yes. Yeah, I think that's kind of where we ended it. Because Drazer and. Um, sorry, I'm still getting to learn your name. Mother. Mother. Um, that that's honestly super easy to remember. I'm kind of yeah, everyone but... has one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they kind of ran out into what possibly is a potential forest fire. That's where we kind of kind of left it on a little bit of a cliffhanger there. Yeah, we chased down that one that was on fire, so it wouldn't start a forest fire. Yeah, they went and ran down the last one, and I was peering down a creepy cave with oscillating tendrils of roots. Right. So, with a possible forest fire raging outside and creepy tendrils creeping all over the tunnel wall inside. They, were they creeping do? closer, or are they just, like, moving around in the tunnel? They're just kind of gyrating for the time okay. being. Okay. And have we already gotten a long rest, or is this, was this like a middle of the night? I think it's like a middle this of the night kind of thing. first watch. Okay. Yeah. Because you were lucky I was on first watch. Yeah, yeah, that was huge too. You get that the spike growth, right, that you put up in the mouth of the cave? Yep. That was pretty Ooh. awesome. Never got to use it. 28 episodes in. Finally got it. <laughs> it's such a good spell, but it is pretty situational. Question, yeah. Ivan. I don't know when it would have come up before. Yes. Uh, how big of a fire is there going at the moment? So, I think two of the trees were set on fire, and they are beginning, the fire is beginning to spread to some of the shrubs that are neighboring. And, uh, Mother's gonna jump off the bear, just start, like, patting down most of the, like, nearby fires that she can, uh, trying to at least keep a perimeter. Only um, you can prevent forest fires. 
I'm smoking wow. bear. That's <laughs> Adelphus, bear. Is, uh, Adelphus is press to digitating any fires he can. Um, um however, yeah. uh, uh if no. there is one like if there seems to be something that seems to be like a source of the fire, like some outburst of fire. Are we going to take a rest after this? I, I'm just making sure. Are we taking like a full rest after this? I was being we can rest by the bonfire. All of this. I mean, we're probably going to be safe in the cave. Um, I mean, especially after we bring down the whole forest. Like, we'll, it'll be great. Actually, uh, I'm okay. going to assume there's like some dirt and like debris on the floor of the cave. It's not like spotless. Mm, it doesn't look like it's been cleaned in a while. <laughs> okay. I just want to get like a. A good size like pinch of dirt where I'm standing and drop it, like stand on my feet and drop it to the ground and see is like check for airflow in the cave. Is it stagnant or is is there flow? On the ground? No, like I'm gonna bend out, pick up like a like a handful of dirt, like fine dirt, and then stand up and hold my arm out and then l let it drop and see if the wind blows or if it just falls straight down, kind of thing. Um, it falls straight down. Okay, that could be an issue uh, for smoke. Maybe we should consider moving. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Which of these trees seem to be creating the most fire at the moment or seem to be uh, the most critical of actually creating a forest fire? So it would be this one and the one right by the entrance here well on the side of the entrance what was the first one this one here yeah okay i am going to cast a channel divinity and i'm going to bring down a rate nature's wrath and spectral uh vines will wrap up and i'm going to try and douse the fire with the uh, wrapping of the tendrils, essentially. Nature's wrath. Uh, spectral vines, which I don't believe are flammable, but I'm going to just basically try and grab and pull it down, try and douse the flames by essentially wrapping it up and losing the oxygen. Um, all right. Unorthodox, but worth a shot. Mm. So... Roll um, an attack using your proficiency and casting ability. Combat order? Yeah. That's why I walked back. So he works on combat order. No, let's see. Using charisma? Okay. I'll go ahead and just use a, a charisma saving throw. It's basically the same. A nine to hit. Can I have All advantage because right. it's not essentially moving? Um, it's not essentially moving, but what you're trying to do isn't really to restrain it, mm -hmm. but restrain the fire. That's fair. No, that's fair. So, I guess part of the problem is, well, um, does it have a range on that? Uh, within 10 feet. So I've moved into the range. Well, but the tree is also feet. tall. Mm -hmm. You're three feet tall. Yes. Or however. Two and a half or whatever. Just trying to douse as much as I can to at least reduce the effect it can to surround the trees. So, you're smothering parts of it, but, I mean, maybe it's because of these 
summoned branches or tentacles. Um, it's not really clear how they interact with the elements and whether they're capable of removing the air from the premises such that fire stops spreading. Um, or partly it's because of the proximity of the surrounding bushes. Um, I mean, it seems to have some effect, but it doesn't put the fire out. Okay. If we're still going by combat rules, are we out of combat, essentially? Um, you're out of combat, so we don't have to pull up the tracker. Okay. But... Um, the urgency still presses in. I, I will go ahead and try it again. Just send another channel divinity, bring the hand down, bring the spectral vines up, trying to douse as much as I can. Okay. Um. Anyone else doing anything? I guess Drazer is the only other one outside. Uh, yeah, I'm just keeping yeah, an eye on this I mean, I, Yeah, I assume I can see the fire from out there, and I saw them go out, so I'd, I'd probably just like walk down a ways to investigate it and see if I can salvage my hunting trap. Which is, I think that's the blue circle right here, right? Or is it this one? Um, which colored circle did you create i i'm pretty sure it's this one because this one of the trees activated it and was currently stuck on it i remember from last fight so it, it would be this one i think yeah right all right well yeah you can certainly see the tree burning at the entrance although currently it's also being enveloped by these spectral branches okay and qu quickly how t high is the roof of this cave like how is it from floor to ceiling? Um. Well, I mean, I think it was you who found it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Cave? Yeah, I believe it was. And presumably you were looking at something where you could enter without significant problems. And by you, I mean Drazer. Yes. I'm just... Um, I'm so, the... The entry into the cave is slightly taller than he is, but um, the ceiling does rise once you're inside. Okay. It's uneven, I asked, but I asked because, um, like, if worse comes to worse and we get surrounded and smoke starts to build, I'm considering like using rope trick, and we can at least hide out for an hour and hopefully the fire passes before then. I'm I was just curious if I can use that in this cave. It sounds like I can. Well, um, at the moment, the direction that the fire is spreading seems to be away from the cave. So unless oh, the smoke okay. starts blowing in, that, I mean, which it very well might, um, but that won't be a problem. Check out here. What are we trying to stop the fire? I mean, if this huge fire goes out and spreads out and it burns down the whole area, most of that, we're okay with burning. There's the orcs there, there's the gnolls there. There's all the Nate. fish people. Nature cares, boy. <laughs> Nature gets a rebirth. I suppose I, I assume like Ralston, kind of rangery outdoorsy, would probably want to try to put the fire out if possible. But I, I like I have no means to do it on me, so it's all on you guys. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it last time, but. Especially now that you're kind of getting a better look at the trees rather than just beating on them or setting them on fire. Um, you do notice, yeah, that these are the normal kind of weird trees that you find in this part of the world. In other words, they have some boughs covered with needles, and they also have these vines with at least the remnants of leaves on them. So it's not really even clear what kind of tree it is. It's one of these local floral monstrosities. Oh, the ones uh, we were having that downtime that looked like they're blighted almost. Yeah. Part of that. Okay. Okay. Huh. Um. Yeah, and they're also um covered by 
some sort of fungal growth. Most of them are. Yeah. Yeah. See, let it all burn. I mean, honestly, knowing that it probably is for the best that that type of plant life burns. Um, so I guess I'm just worried about us being trapped. Um, Dra I guess you're kind of busy out there. But <laughs> shout out to Drazer. Drazer, can you? Uh, do your druid thing and possibly make a determination of uh, what way the wind's going to be blowing for the next couple hours. Get a weather report. I, I can do the druid craft. Yeah. <laughs> when you're not busy trying to burn to death out there. Um, you are a bear, though. Yeah, and either way, I have to shift it back. Oh, can you understand me then when he's a bear? Yeah, I can hear you. I just can't speak okay. back to you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Shout that to Barazer then and assume he understood what I said. Yes. There's a story. Drazer, do your, your Druid thing. thing. We were talking about them. So presumably Drazer is a bear does as well. Okay. Well, no. it's more straightforward in his case. <laughs> so yes, I'll do the thing and see what the weather is the next 24 hours at my location. Okay. That is what you do. So, well, the main thing that you learn, um, does that just take a action to cast? Yes. Or, okay. Yeah, the main thing that you learn is that you're not to expect any precipitation or significant wind so it seems unlikely that well the the slight wind that's blowing outside now will significantly change direction one and two it doesn't seem like it'll blow particularly hard meaning that the fire probably won't spread that quickly um Are there any water precipitation nearby? Puddles, streams, swamp? Um, it is pretty hilly around here. Um, so, so you're probably like in the side of one of these hills, given the fact that you found a cave. Um, there is a little gully a short ways away. It's probably where you came from. Yeah, okay, that's too far. Um, but you're not in a <clears throat> depression right now. All right. Uh, quick question. Did the second channel divinity douse this fire? Or am I needing to make a second roll in that one? Oh, yeah, make a second roll. Gotcha. Have you had a turn on yet? Yes, we are. Okay, I believe so. I'm going to come out and I'm going to start helping with... Uh... Prestid digitation. Come on, you son I'll never be able to save. I know 23, you. let's go. There's a roll. Alright, so... Come on, you son of a gun, go down! Yeah, as you call out to the powers that be. Incidentally, what are those powers? Um, She will bring her hands up, the vines will shoot out, and instead of the normal plant-like vines, you can just see paper upon paper of scriptures of books that have been uh, ripped out of the mere essence of the uh, trees themselves, and she will bring it back down, just leaving it there. Uh, she'll look up. Thank you, Istis. Knew you were watching. No, what I mean is, um, who is Mistress? Uh, Istis. Oh. Istis. Uh, Istis. Who is Istis? Uh, the Lady of Fate, uh, essentially her patron, okay. deity. All right, so, um, you do manage to douse that tree. Um, it's still kind of smoldering, but unless it's given some sort of aid, and again, yeah, the wind isn't particularly strong, it looks like it probably will go out. 
but the other tree is still on fire and um, there are a few bushes over here that um, seem to have already caught. Um, they look like they might be easier to put out than the tree, but they're on fire nevertheless. So this tree is currently the only one that's still on fire? This one here. Um, I mean, does it look like I can easily retrieve this trap now that the fire's out, or is the tree basically like laying on it? Oh, um, so the trap was kind of crushed by the tree uh, in the process of the tree stepping into the trap. Um, and as it was flailing around with burning branches, it also seems to have sustained some fire damage. So without serious repairs, it's basically useless. All right, that's well, the <laughs> needs to repair. Well, I mean, it served its purpose. Well, maybe. I had a good trap. It had a good life. <laughs> it really it did. It really did. I'll, just, I'll go back up here and just... Cause I know there's like some weirdness going on in that tunnel. I'm just kind of watch Algalon's back in case he gets like sucked in there or something. All right. What are you doing, Algalon? Uh, I would still stand here at the tunnel watching these... Watching this little hole thing. This little tunnel. See if anything comes out of the gyrating uh, roots or vines. Um, all right. Because that's not normal. <laughs> um, perhaps not. Not where uh, I come from. Yeah. What's your... Oh, I don't have to ask you that. Um, all right, so you're standing there. Um, do you have a light? Dark vision. Oh, you do have dark vision. For the next seven hours and 59 minutes and 30 seconds, yes. <laughs> Excellent. I think I gave the other one to Drazer. Yep. All right. So, as you're standing there, one of these tendrils does I freaking do it. Lunge at you. Well, that'll hit shit. So, Pleasant. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Um, but that's Taylor still. Is kind. Taylor is kind, but that's still nine bludgeoning. Nine bludgeoning. Jeez. Yep. About to say. And. All right, and we can go right back into initiative again. Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. All oh. right. Let me just 
Wait, before you roll, let me just get rid of all this. And then as I'm being hit, I'll yell out, Oh, great, I knew it. There is something down here. Ralston. Mm. Yeah, you were just hit, right? Not grappled? Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah, he kind of just lunged out at you and just thwacked you. You actually managed to avoid most of it. My but, new uh, god boost perhaps, force. Yeah, yeah uh, the surprise of it. Uh, well, it, it was basically a glancing blow, but like you're pretty clear at this point on what would happen if it hit you, you know, smack in the middle where it wanted to. New initiatives, or are we keeping the old one? New initiative. Okay. Let's see how low I can roll this time. Let's fucking Fine ah! thing. I love it. <laughs> it's nothing. Oh, there's like no number in there. I was like, damn, that's impressive. <laughs> How did you roll a fourteen point one two? You rolled a fourteen. I'm, I have it set that my dex is twelve oh, in case there's ties. Yeah. I need. I need to add that. I actually don't really do tiebreakers, but it's fine. It's there. Yeah, I do it for my other two. Sorry, I can remove it. I mean, it's not bothering anyone. Oh, okay. I just was curious how the fuck you rolled point one two. I didn't. I was like, the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm using those crazy dice. I use Divine Smite and deal 14.3 damage! Using that new the new uh, <laughs> D&D one fractional yep. dice system. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Fractal dice. <laughs> yes. Um. Oh, we're missing Ruin. Yeah. I rolled before, and then, but then he said, wait, don't roll. <laughs> yeah, he, he's the first one to roll. Yeah. This is where he picked the uh, oh. tracker got cleared. That's fine. Um, so you're at 16? Yep. And actually, before you launch into it, um, what were you doing that whole time? Kind of standing in the middle of the cave, it looks like. Just trying to put out the fires with the press of digitation. Yeah. It's me in the cave. Okay. All right, so Ralston, you're over there. Um, how how does Algalon react to being whacked? Uh, I kind of step back a couple paces. Uh, the vines are attacking. I think Ralston, are you here? I got gotcha. right. you. You you hear that? Um. So, yeah, that tunnel opening is quite small. Um, big enough for Algalon and possibly someone of mother's size, but potentially difficult to get through for anyone else. So, because you're trained to respond to danger quickly. You are the first to react. Okay. Um, it's what I've seen. Something like lashing out and hitting them from where I'm standing. I'm basically... I'm just like um, you are there. kind of looking outside. So basically okay. what you are aware of at this point is that um, yeah, Algalon got your attention and kind of stepped back. And just for a point of order, I am still in Chalice Constellation, so I am emanating light. Right. Okay. Yeah, I will um, hear an Algalon call out. And I mean, I know what's in that tunnel. I've seen it. Um, I'm going to run up to him. Um, I mean, he's small, so I can pick him up pretty easy, you know? Yeah. I, I'm just going to grab him and then... Uh, would that be would it be half movement if I'm carrying Algalon? Um, how much do you weigh Algalon with all your just eight hundred pounds? No problem. Uh, thirty nine <laughs> with gear and thirty five personal, so seventy four. All right. So yeah. with seventy four extra pounds, how encumbered are you? Uh, regular. I think it'd be regular encumbrance. Let me make sure, cause I'm. Uh, 
like just shy of being encumbered. So another 75 would, um, I don't know how to do the, kind of, my strength modifier is zero. So would another 75 be like a whole, like beyond encumbered? It's your strength times five is what your encumbrance would be. Yeah. Um, okay. So, okay, but you are just dragging him. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I will drag him instead of pick, actually pick him up. And then, that's okay. Yeah, so, yeah, you'd be at half movement after you got there. Putting me in front of you or on your to on your side? Um, you meet yourself again. You are leaving. All right. Yeah. This area. If oh, I'm able to, I am leaving. I would like area. to. Well, okay. by being dragged, yeah. Force movement. What difference does it make? I just thought opportunity attack can only be done if it was normal movement, not force. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. I thought two? Maybe not? I, I mean, I'm so unclear on a lot of fights. But up to DM's discretion. Of course. Yeah, whether or not he gets... I'd like to be able to set him in this spot if I can DM. I don't know if I would have enough of a turn to do that, or if I basically can just pull him. Um, of course, I'll shout out to everyone outside the cave. Oh, uh, those vine things are attacking. This hit Algalon. Alright. So... Yeah, you pull him... Oh, Ruin's outside. Okay. Yeah, so you're aware that there's some sort of commotion inside the cave as you're desperately trying to put fires out with prestidigitation. Okay. Seeing that that's not doing anything and seeing that, you know, hearing that commotion, I'll walk back in. What's going on? Be pointing at where I... that hole where I drug Aglon from and say those vines just attacked him. Do I see anything in the hole? Um, so the light source is on Algalon plus Algalon himself. Uh, Algalon himself. I don't have a light source on me other than that. Well, there's a campfire right there. Yeah. Well, that would be dim light, um, by the time yes. it got to the tunnel. So roll perception ruin. Yeah, I am bright 10, dim 10. Um, yeah, so you see these rather thick vines. Um, they also seem to be covered with growths of some sort, kind of like the trees that you're now trying to put out, fungal growths, and um thorns uh and they seem to be reaching into the cave as if to continue doing what they were doing okay um i will cast a uh, flaming sphere and ram it down as deep into that hole as i can all right there's some kind of joke in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, there's a I'm lot I'm not witty of enough to make it right now. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't think we're touching that one. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so roll for damage. Does it get a save? Yeah, it's a uh, dex save. Its dex is not great. What? Nope. Uh, well, what's your save, DC? Um, 15. Okay. Yeah, that's a fail. And I'll, I'll just shove the sphere as far deep into the hole as I can get it. Um, what range do you have? Uh, it's 60 feet, and I can move it up to 30 feet from wherever I start. So I would imagine I would start it at the beginning of the hole and push it into the hole. Okay. And that's that's my turn. So that is 10 damage? Yep. And then... Uh, if it ends its turn within five feet of the sphere, it takes another 2d6 every turn. I am. Yeah, super good cantrip, if it hits. It's not a yeah. cantrip, it's a level two spell. I was gonna uh. say. Oh, I was yeah. thinking of chromatic, I'm sorry. That's flaming sphere, super good spell. is a different thing. Um, also, it casts light, too, so everybody should be able to see whatever's in there. Yeah. Okay. So, that is your turn. And now we have Algalon, who's being dragged away. Oh, thank you, Ralston. Um, I can take it from here. It's not... Then I will, as I'm backing up, I'm going to shoot a produce flame down the tunnel myself at the vines and hopefully pay back the kind slap it gave me. All right. Uh, 14 to hit. Oh, that is a good question. Um, it seems like it's bark covering is thick enough so that it doesn't, it doesn't catch fire. So it doesn't seem to do anything appreciable to it. Okay. Um, so I know with spell casting, you can cast two spells as long as one's a leveled, one's a cantrip, one's an action, one's a bonus action. Can they be two cantrips? They can be two cantrips, okay. I believe. I'm just hoping. I just know they can't be two leveled. Yes. Okay. So I am then going to back up this direction. Actually... No, I'm going to move towards the fire, campfire this way, and then I'm going to cast Shillelagh. Have that going. Oh. And that'll end my oh. turn. All right, so this is technically simultaneous. Um, Baron, you are... At the cave mouth opening, uh, but there seems to be activity behind you in the cave. Uh, I'm going to whip around, and I want to know what exactly I see. Um, like, at this point, yeah, you, see, you see the tunnel in the back lit up with a bright sphere and yeah you see something either branch like or serpent like moving around inside it uh, but that's basically it 
So it's like it, it's like in here. Like, would I be able to reach it if I were to shift my character to not not there? The here, would I be able to reach it from here? Uh, is that thirty feet of movement? Yeah, that was exactly thirty. Maybe if I, maybe if I'm smart about it, I can maybe get it. Nah. Uh, you can reach it, yeah, and I guess since the flaming sphere was rolled back, um, yeah, you see this, um, singed vine, uh, pretty thick, I mean, like, the size of a very fat boa constrictor. Um, okay. Uh, sorry, I was trying to figure exactly how to cast this because I haven't done it in a while. Um, so I'm going to use Green Flame Blade, which allows me, you know, swing on the sword and then flick fire. So we're going to do a jab at it with the rapier that I have. Probably give it a shot. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, it's not super maneuverable, but its bark is thick, and yeah, you attempt to stick your rapier into it, but it doesn't seem to do anything. And the fire doesn't do anything either? Um, it is singed. Um, but the flaming sphere has been rolled deeper. No, I up. cast green flame blade with it. So whenever I attacked it, there was fire on the sword as well. As I lunged forward with the rapier, it like was engulfed green flames. But the flames don't do anything unless you hit, correct? Yeah, I just I was awesome. Um, so, Give it a shot. Yeah, I mean at this point it's it's glowing, but it doesn't seem to have done anything to it. Uh, okay. Um, uh, I don't think I have anything to action. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm creating two within this. Uh... Okay, no, that's it. Um, the branch that you are trying to stick begins to withdraw, but unexpectedly, this other, even thicker vine comes up from underground. And attempts to envelop you. Ralston's not able... We're not letting Ralston pick the hotel again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Ralston read the wrong Yelp I was about review. to say, did you do any Yelp research at all? No, I just saw it came and it looked good. You just saw the sign from the interstate, didn't you? <laughs> yes, all right. pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. It said vacancy with yeah. one of the A's. <laughs> I mean, one of the A's blinking. Mm -hmm. at, at the very least, as far as we know, there's no bed bugs. <laughs> Right. All right. Um, so, yeah, this uh, other vine that came up from under the ground uh, wraps itself around you. And uh, after it does so, Shit. it withdraws back down the tunnel where the flaming sphere is. Oh boy. So it's grabbing Baron? It is grabbing Baron. You're concentrating on... underneath me. It doesn't have like I don't get any cover bonus for being around the corner from it. 
Uh, even with cover bonus, it hit AC twenty five. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Is I I just got a general question about concentration. I've been since he's concentrating on that orb. Do you have to wait till your turn to drop concentration, or can you do that at any time during a fight? I can do it at any time. Okay. Generally curious about that with concentration. Yeah, is your green blade thing concentration? Well, it's just on attack. I, I should put a marker. Uh, Mother is also concentrating on Shield of Faith on Drazer at the moment. Technically, green flame blade doesn't actually do fire damage to the main target unless you're level 5. What? Just saying. Just fire damage right. to the secondary target. So, Aaron has been grappled, dragged away. Womp womp. Aaron. Um, uh, okay. um, roll a deck save it's for shits and giggles, Baron. Uh, yeah, you kind of like brace yourself and uh, manage not to get scraped or bumped against the tunnel floor or walls as it's dragging you away. Is it a single creature or is it multiple? Um, well, as it's dragging you, you definitely see that there are multiple gyrating vines, both on the walls and on the ground. Um, that... If it's pulling him into my flaming sphere, then I'll wink the sphere out before it hurts him. Okay. Uh... Mother. Okay. Uh, is Drazer still there? Just need to confirm this. Did mm -hmm. Drazer change back? Drazer changed back, yeah. He did? Yes. Because the weather report? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So, technically, if I jumped on his back and he changed into a bear, would I still technically be mounted on him? Yes or no? The big question. No. Okay. Uh, you could I time it? Could I time his? Could I technically have him go first and have him uh, go at the same time as me? I, I would like to essentially wait for Drazer's turn to go with him. Okay, one second. Okay, so you're delaying with the kicker. I am. Delaying my turn right. to merge mine with Drazer's. Yeah, the kicker being his transformation. Assuming Correct. That assuming that he has transformations left. Yep, I got one left. We've been talking. We've been plotting this entire time. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. All right. So, Drazer, are you transforming back after uh, giving the weather report? Yep, back to Bearser. All right. And what do you do after you transform? Giving the nod to Drazer, I will merge with him and use half my movement to get onto the bear. Right. So, mounted mother on top of Bearser, we are going straight in to deal with whatever the heck they're dealing with. All right. So... Uh, Drazer, you still have the Shield of Faith on you, by the way, so you yeah. have that AC bonus. All right, and I'm guessing your Wild Shape is a bonus action. Yep. That you are who you are, so are you using your full move plus dash? I am definitely using my full move, which I get 40 feet as a bear. Right. So, let me... Get to basically right at the edge. 
right to the hole. <laughs> and just in that motion, I'm going to reach my lance out and try and reach out so uh, Baron can grasp onto it. I'm not going for an attack. I am just trying to get him out. Reach on, boy! Right, well... That is... Potentially something that he can do next turn. Yep. Um, I mean, yeah, there's no way you're going to pull him out now. But, uh... Yeah, at some point we are going to have to have a discussion about your use of the lance. Which is what, like three times longer than you are? <laughs> she, it is a, technically as tall as she is, but I have a 10 foot reach, yes. <laughs> Amazing wonders of mounted combat. Well, I guess that's one way to put it. <laughs> I, I only um, get the, I only get the ten foot reach if I'm mounted. Otherwise, it's just a five foot reach. So and I have disadvantage on anyone within five feet of me if I'm not mounted. That's retractable. I, it's great if I have a mount. It's horrible if I don't. <laughs> it's a telescoping lance. Um, <laughs> so Ralston. Um, you've managed to pull Algalon out of the tunnel. What are you going to do now? Ralston, wrap once for yes and twice for no. Even though that wasn't a yes or no question. What, 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 what was this in here quick? Putting the kid to bed, I was pinching her cheeks. <laughs> well, what's going on? It's your turn. Oh, okay. Um, well, so there you, are you at least... You around pinching Algalon's cheeks. I get it. <laughs> yes, Stop, that... not now. I mean, <laughs> there's at least <laughs> two people right in front of me and a potential third, so I'm going to go ahead and start shooting. <laughs> sets his crossbows to friendly fire that's a, a bear it's right, right on top of it to shoot like a three foot wide hole to hit a moving vine oh no. shit this bear is attacking baron get it <laughs> um honestly not much i can do is there if i move um, like over by mother, would I be able to maybe do some sort of help action to when it's her turn to like pull Baron out with like aid with pulling the lance, or is that not um, maybe with a successful X check because you've got a bear so you're trying yes. to kind of like tuck yourself in under the bear's elbow <laughs> okay um yeah I'll get, I'll give that a try it looks like um so i'll move what like right here okay can i move here or is that like in on the bear technically or under the where bear? the dex check comes in I'm uh, that's why you're making the dex check oh okay okay um, so I'll actually um roll slight a hand Ooh, okay. First for this campaign, I've never made one of those rolls. We will definitely do that. Not my strong suit, but not shabby. Okay. So, yeah, you're studying the lance. And I would be, like, right here. I had to be next to him, right? Yeah, you're... Okay. Um, basically, like, right next to and underneath Drazer. Um, yeah, so like you better hope that nothing bad happens to him because oh boy, yeah, he flails okay. wildly or falls, it could be on you. Drazer, don't fall, Baron. Gra grab the lance, that'll be my turn. Let's like be ready to start yanking when he gets a grip on it. All right, so ruin, assumedly, with a bear and three people or two people, I can't see anything at all. I'm guessing. Pretty much, yeah. Other than 
bare bare ass. Yeah, it's right. like uh <laughs> It's all right, then probably then, like a four, four foot tunnel opening at best. All right, then I will move to here and I will hold an action to telekinetically pull the bear backwards should he grab the lance. Okay, that's it. That's what you're doing, uh, Algalon? I, I am not currently concentrating on anything just yet. Um, can I see down that tunnel? Um, I mean, you have the same issue as Ruin. The tunnel is blocked by bodies. Okay. Give us one moment. We'll be out of your way. <laughs> we just need to get one particular important situation that's currently in there. How tall is the bear? Like the bear mm -hmm. I believe is between seven and eight feet. It's about Drazer's size in height. Okay. But it's a lot more solid. Well about five feet of that shoulder. Or then I'm on all fours. If I stand up then I'm seven feet. Oh, that's right. You're you're a mount. Uh, yeah, and although that's still plenty big to block Algalon's vision. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, I am going to cast Summon Fey. Uh -oh. And we are going to use Mirthful. I guess I can make a little token for it real quick. There we go. It is small. And as a bonus action... Actually, movement, I'm going to have it move behind the bear with bonus action teleport 30 feet to an unoccupied space it can see. As a small creature, can it see under the bear? Uh, Let's have it roll perception. Had to make sure it didn't have any nice. Ooh, nope. <clears throat> bear, bear butt. Burr. Can it's I use my inspiration for my butt. summoned creature? No. Dang. Well, because yeah, otherwise you'd be able to transfer it to whoever, especially not <laughs> after a roll to one. All right, so it can't see. No, it's mostly uh, bear butt and a little bit of uh, Ralston butt. Okay. Six, 15, 20, 25, 30. But it can just walk there. Because it has movement it, of 40. Is it incor incorporeal? Or No, it's I guess, material. It just can... I guess Dre's would have to... Let it by. Put the leg up or something. <laughs> All right. So, um, I mean, I guess you could get out in front of. <sighs> yeah, you're you're still gonna have to roll decks of some sort because you're not only getting past the bear but you're also getting past the lance okay yeah i can definitely try that this thing's small and quick is it small size it is small yep okay 
Yeah, that's what I was letting you know. It's a small size creature. So I figured it could fit underneath the bear, but maybe not so much if it wasn't tiny. <clears throat> Probably if I wasn't there. Yeah, Probably badass. Have a lot easier time with it. Bear is fine. Um, you? No. <laughs> yeah, so roll dex. Straight dex. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't have uh, sleight of hand defined <laughs> fully. Uh, uh, no. So here we go. Man. Okay. The one thing it's decent at. So. It's okay. Decent. Ten's yeah, ten's enough for it. Okay, so it should be able to get out in front of Bearzer. Uh, you can get out in front of Bearzer and Mother. Um, you cannot get past. Baron, because Baron is essentially in an enemy square. Yes, and that's perfect. Can my spirit see the vines? Your spirit can see the vines. All right. Your spirit can see that uh, they are... Yeah, there's like multiple vines gyrating uh, while... Like, one really big, thick one on the right-hand side, one really big, thick one on the left-hand side, and um, another root coming up from underground. Okay, this is probably silly, but can it see a creature within 10 feet of it that's not barren? Well, I mean, the vines are creatures, technically. Perfect. Uh, that's that's all I needed to know. So it is. But they're not like you know things with feet, a torso, a head, and a mouth. They're vines. All right. It's still gonna try and charm it. All right. Uh, wisdom save. DC 14. Um, trying to think really quickly if I can help with this. Um, um, barbs, know. silvery barbs, silvery barbs. That, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what, like, if I can use, I've never actually used the spell. Give a disadvantage on the vine for the strength check that it will probably have against you, <laughs> and give advantage on someone, one of us. So the, question is, the question is, can you use it as a reaction? Yeah, it's a reaction. It is a reaction, is a reaction. and I can use it yeah. give me, when give it I you. see a creature within 60 feet of yourself succeeds on an attack roll, an ability check, or a saving throw. So it has something has to succeed on something. Yeah. Yes. Nothing so, happened yet. And That's why I wanted to say it, that I'm looking at it, so that it doesn't roll past or if I figure out how the spell works. So... All right. You could give this one advantage, well, disadvantage, and give you advantage on the strength save, essentially. Super broken spell. I hate it. Yeah, it is. I was gonna say it's. <laughs> it's. Why do you think I banned it from mine? Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. See, the worst part is I didn't even know it was broken. Like I took it because I was like, oh, hey, this I I don't remember seeing this before. And then, I, like, the next section that, like, I, I hear you guys talking about how broken this new spell Silvery Barbs is, I'm like, oh, yeah. oh, well, fuck. It's the homebrew I was playing on Sundays was, like, super, like, all kinds of optional shit and, like, crazy shit, and the DM would not allow Silvery Barbs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, what's... Uh, DC 14 so Wisdom save. DC 14 Wisdom and what are you telling the vine or whatever it is that you're addressing? Um, I'm going to try and charm it to say, leave me and my friends alone. Have the spirit say that. It's a termination. Baron's not your friend. We'll find out. <laughs> All right. So, since it's not its turn, Aaron is.
is grappled. Well, do we know if it failed or succeeded? Uh, you will find out. Okay, then that Let's negates see. the use of silvery barb. Gotcha. Yeah. He could have um, just had a creature, right? He could have dropped it when your summon did the dex check, no? I mean, but then it would have given it disadvantage. Yeah, oh, it has anyway. to be the thing. Oh, okay. I just thought you could like willy nilly throw that. Okay. I disadvantage whatever triggers it, okay, and then okay. I can give advantage to something. Yep. Cool. Okay. All right. So, um, at the start of your turn, you are still grappled, Baron, and Lance is out. You will take. Oh no! Damage every time. Um, you will take seven points of bludgeoning damage. It's really terrifying. No, it's plus seven or plus six. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Can I say something at the end of my turn? Yeah. Can I shout out? I'm trying to make it our friend. Please don't hurt them. And this is to my friend, to everybody, to the party. Don't hurt the vines. <laughs> Just right. hearing that behind the bear. <laughs> yeah. So, Baron, uh, it's your turn. I guess I'll grab the spear and try to get pulled out. All right. Don't uh, sound the, so disappointed. I just, right? Fine, I just want to say, if I care. Jeez. in my <laughs> point of view, I got pulled in by a bunch of vines. I was going to harm of a dar, blow them all up with necrotic damage, and walk out casually. But okay. Suddenly, the lance pulls away, seeing that you want to die a hero. <laughs> <laughs> the Fey Spear gives you the middle finger as it goes back to the Fey Realm. Is, right. and if he doesn't want to, is the lance barbed by chance? Uh, I want to no. grab it. <laughs> no, it is not. Sadly. Oh. I was well, saying, like, yeah. I grabbed it because, like, clearly you guys all have all in on this. But I, I, like, when I got pulled in, I was like, okay, I can work with this. I mean, but you can always just let not go. use your action. Well, then I'm going to hit all of you and the face spirit. And no. I'm fine back that. here. What are you talking about? You're right. Yeah. But still. Um, no. I yeah. Like I said, I am grabbing the fucking plants. All right. So. <laughs> contested roll. Uh, well. Yeah. Um, mother. Yes. Roll, uh, see if you can break the grapple since you're the main agent here. Can I right. give mother advantage? So you're rolling, uh, strength. Just Is it rolling strength? as well? The thing? Yes. Is it rolling as well? Um, oh, in terms of whether you can give it disadvantage? Yes. Um, do you want to do that? Yes, I would like to give it disadvantage and give mother advantage. Well, I was mother, okay. I've been with mother already have advantage because I'm pulling on the lance too. I feel yeah. invigorated. <laughs> I don't know. Like, is is no, I still, I still want to do this because I want the plant to have disadvantage. So, uh, yes, okay. okay. So, mother rolls strength at advantage. Okay. I'm giving them a uh, that's support. a 16. All right. Um, you do manage to break Baron free. No! Uh, and I will use my action to just pull him as close as I can. All right. Um, I'm telekinetically yeah. pulling backward on the bear. Okay. Held actions, um, held actions. <laughs> <laughs> So, what you see subsequently Got out of the fucking crevice. Uh, yeah, is he here now? Is Baron out? Um, actually, also roll another dex check. When you push, when you push the bear backwards by feet, Rolson, you're still under, still underneath of it. What what would happen to you? Oh God. <laughs> I'd go with you guys because I'm holding on to the lance. The Fae that he's barreling into. 
Uh, that's a lot of uh, work to put on <laughs> one telekinesis. It is. It's a lot like of it's shit. pulling the bear. It's pulling Ralston. It's pulling Mother. It's pulling the Lance. It's pulling Baron. Uh, Baron. Yeah. Um, is there is so, there Max Wayne? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So Drazer, make a deck save and um. Baron, make a deck save. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, I got you, Baron. Actually, hold on. Uh, Drazer, you're good, I think. If it's anything involving damage right now. Yeah. Uh, um... <clears throat> let's see. Dexterity, half damage. It takes no damage if it succeeds on the save and only takes half on a fail. Uh, attack roll. Uh. All right. Um. So you, mother, can make a deck save at advantage based on yeah. that, and uh, Ralston I'm just make a, just make a normal one. Regular old decks, all right. Yeah. Um. That's a five. <laughs> All right. Um, so Ralston, yeah, does manage to step out of the way as the bear is being pulled backwards. Uh, Mother, however, falls off uh, as the bear is being dragged back. Um, what did you roll, Baron? Baron is fine. Uh, yeah, partly because there's also a counterweight at the other end of your lance. So, mother. Uh, mother not help getting assistance with the lance from Ralston? I step uh, aside. My grip is off the lance now. Yeah. I avoid he, getting he, crushed helped, by... he helped pull Baron out. But I'm uh, out. Like, that's what I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going. Yeah. yeah. Are um, you, is he here? So Bear gets, gets moved back. Uh, Ralston jumps out of the way. Uh, mother plops here. down off of the bear. Take okay, three points of bludgeoning damage as this is happening. But okay, um, you have to make a the, save, uh, the good thing uh, that oh, you do shit. after Baron is pulled out here is that the vines seem to be retreating back down the tunnel. Hey, good work, Algon. Did it? Uh, did it make a fun popping noise when he came out? Yeah. Imagine a lot of snapping. Um, yeah. Sounds like uh, I fell through a brush, I imagine. Uh, well, shield of faith goes down, Drazer. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't really make a popping noise, like the branch was cracking. Um, in fact, you kind of suspect that it began to loosen before you were pulled free. Um, but. All right, well, let's finish the round, and we'll see what happens. Um, so, Mother, or, yeah. I'm going to use half of my movement to get up off of the ground. Yeah. Uh, did I fall prone, or did I just fall off and land on my feet? You fell prone with okay. that roll. Uh, I will use half my movement to get up. And immediately start getting Baron on his feet and move him away from uh, the opening. Okay. Come on, boy. Time to move. Oh. I will uh, use my uh, dash dash action to get him away. Okay. And Erzer? I will get you to here, Baron, and I'll move up to here to get the front. Does that put me the whole way or no? Uh, you are here. I got you, buddy. Uh -huh. Come out of the campfire? Oh, uh -huh. shit, that's the campfire? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was the campfire. My bad, you're here. You're here. Um, I didn't see the campfire. I thought that was someone's, like, uh, the owl. Uh, I didn't... Don't we have a, like an owl familiar here? Yeah, 
the the yellow circle. Oh, he's the yellow one. Okay. So, Baron, yeah. you are not on the fire. <laughs> You're over here. <laughs> right. Um, Drazer. All right. I'm going to... I was going to move back right there. <laughs> And I want to ready if one of those vines come out, I want to grab all the vine. Okay. All right. So you are ready in action. Um just see yeah. how Rob that picture is for you. You hear um, slithering sound that suggests it's, that it's receding, i.e. moving away. Um, so, out of initiative for the time being. Okay. Um, I'm going to have the space spirit teleport onto my shoulder and I'm going to walk to the opening. Uh I'm 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 going to send my owl down the hole and see what it sees. Oh, I was going to try and close the opening if that was okay with everyone. Yes, actually I was going to suggest we why don't we I was going to suggest we rebuild our campfire in front of the opening, but why don't we do both? close it, and then we'll just put the fire there just as a secondary measure. I mean, can we see what's down the hole first? Maybe there's treasure or something. Um, there's no treasure that you see. Um, so... Yeah, you observe uh, vines and tendrils and roots apparently withdrawing down the tunnel. Um, now that I guess you have a little bit more of a chance of inspecting the tunnel closer with various senses um the smell that's coming from there is entirely unwholesome i mean it smells kind of like a mixture of wood rot and fungal rot uh and uh just a very unpleasant earthy smell does the tunnel just sort of taper off and end? No, it seems to continue beyond your field of vision. It's twisty, so yeah, it, it, it bends at some point. Um, like, call it here. There's so many like underground runes. And such in this area, I wouldn't be surprised if we connected to something larger. And we're in Blackreach. Yes. <laughs> None of us, I don't think any of us can fit down there toward the end, anyways. Well, I'll, I'll just send the owl down as far as he can go and, and see if he sees anything. If it opens up into a wider cave, like if there's a pool of monsters down there, whatever. Or if eventually it just gets too black for even the owl to see, then I'll pull him back. Um, so, all right, um, roll owl perception. Uh, he has a plus three in advantage for anything regarding yes. vision. You hear good things about owls. So, 19. All right, so yeah, you do see that that tunnel opens up into a larger chamber. Um, you don't see the back of it, uh, but. You see multiple vines and roots and tendrils drawing back into that larger chamber. And at the center of it, 
Um, you see what appears to be it's not exactly a stump and it's not exactly a tree uh, but something in between like a large woodsy mass covered by thick bark and in its midst you see a rather disturbing looking mouth with um a heavy row of sharp teeth okay i'll, I'll describe this terrible horror to all my friends and tell them where it is that's unpleasant is it okay if i try and close the tunnel now <laughs> yeah, I'll pull the owl back and, and then... Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, it seems like like plants don't have eyes, so, uh, Ivan, would I have a sense that, regardless of how dark it is, uh, like things like the trees and these vines have no problem detecting where I am? Well, you didn't see, and none of you saw any eyes anywhere within the tunnel where these vines were operating. So, I guess your sense is that it doesn't seem to need eyes to do what it wants to do. Okay. Um, it, so, we could close up the tunnel, um, or counter, counter proposal. What if we just fucked off? I mean... Middle of the night, we want to get a long rest? I, with that giant creature right down the hall? I mean... The tunnel's we, closed? Yeah, yeah but it, 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 it just... Vines popped out of the ground, like what they did. Yeah, like out of the floor. Yeah, oh, that's oh, how they got. That's how they got oh, Baron. Yeah. Did they? I thought they like just came out of the tunnel. They actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's. If they come through the floor, let's get the hell out of here. All right. I don't mind either way. <clears throat> Hopefully, there's no more trees out there. We can find a. Uh, we're in a forest, Ralston. There are a lot of trees. Well. I... <laughs> Thank you, Alcohol. I was more reading sentient trees that walk around. We could find a little a little hollow in the raging forest fire and make camp there. All trees walk around. Most of them do it very slowly. <laughs> Thank you again, Algolan. A fountain yes. of information. Yes, that's what I'm here a for. A fountain of wisdom. <laughs> a fountain of wisdom, yes. We're all set about gathering up the firewood that we've collected. In order to transport it to the new campsite, like the um, trees we cut out, cut down outside. <laughs> I mean, yes, we yeah. have plenty of it outside. Um. So yeah, leaving the larger cave is not difficult. Um. But you do see that. Yeah, the fire, especially from the second tree that wasn't put out, is beginning to spread. Uh. Baron, out of my curiosity, how much did you lose? Only like seven, I think. Yeah, seven. All right. Uh, Mother will just bring out a bandage quickly, uh, wrap that up, and I'll just expend uh, seven points of lay on hands. Or are we still in combat? Nope. No longer in combat? Nope. Lay on hands, seven points, Baron. Are you multi class to three different classes? No, Paladin. Paladin, dude. It's all Paladin? I, cause I, I could have sworn there's some Druid in there, but it's all Paladin. No, nope. all Paladin. If you uh, don't mind, what's your subclass? I am a Paladin Oath of the Ancients. Vines okay. covering her mm -hmm. uh, armor. Everyone the... in this party has at least one level of Druid. Yeah, I know. I know. It's... No, I, don't, no I have no levels of Druid. <laughs> No, 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 no. I think we've lost two people that had two levels of druid too. Yeah, I don't, but I yes. use a lot of druid spells, so it's like point five yeah. levels of druid. I'm well, gonna, at least one. Right. I'm gonna ask Adolphus uh for help outside using my druid craft and his prestidigitation to try and quell the fire. Sure. It wasn't doing much earlier, but yeah. Maybe Ooh. with our combined effort. I, I, I guess I can throw a spell in there too, like moving things around. Into... Yeah, you think you need something more serious, like a heavy rain 
or something along those lines. I mean, prestidigitation is for like putting out candles. Uh, I, I do have an idea. Or, or bonfires. That's what. Yeah, and druidcraft can snuff out small campfires. I do have an idea. Um, well, yeah. Okay. It's not the best idea, and it's very creative, and it's very up to the GM if this works. <laughs> well, isn't that everything, though? Pretty much. Uh, okay. Either that, or are we able... Is anyone able to move a large amount of Earth with any kind of spell? Not of my capabilities. Okay. Not today, I'm I checking. can't. No. I mean, I could do it slowly. No. I could do it very I... slowly as well. I've expended uh, most of my abilities dousing one fire. Are we trying to deal with another? Yeah, let's just let's just leave. How big is the fire? Uh, like the most contained part? Actually, uh, uh, the most contained part or the least contained part? The least contained part. How big of an area is it? Um, so, yeah, the least contained part would probably be the size of, like, three bonfires. Uh, it's like a whole hedge. Uh, DM, I am going to drop my chalice form and turn into a giant badger and use its burrowing speed to try and kick up dirt on it. Um... He's doing I that. Will... I'll, I'll use my hands to start throwing dirt. To I mean, it's not much, but it'll add a little something. Are we do. leaving this location? Yeah, after my this. Con- yeah, my concern is I'm not so much concerned we're going to get caught in this fire. It's that a large fire will draw a lot of attention, and we're kind of oh, getting close to salt marsh. Very well, this will draw a bit of attention. But if we're leaving, then so be it. Uh, she will bring out uh, a set of. Uh, let's see. She will set out a set of moon seed, uh, throwing her hands out and bring her hand down, and I will cast moonbeam on top of the most con- uh, unconcentrated con- area of fire and just start blasting uh, 40 foot high pillars and of concentrated radiant damage to at least like bring down and quell out most of the fires and I will just do this throughout the entire minute. Uh I can do this every turn essentially so I will just keep bringing it down every 6 seconds. All right. Um I am burning through spells. Fuck me. Okay. I yeah. kind of like the idea that if we ran from the fire, that we just get like ten feet out of the fire. There'd be a ten, fifteen foot tall bear wearing a ranger hat, just stops us. It's like, this would razor it, razor. <laughs> you need to fix this. You're kind of like only you can prevent forest fires. No, Drazer is like a little anti-smoky. Right, only you start forest fires and kill everything that tries That's... to stop you. <laughs> yeah. Plus, plus sidekicks. All right. Um. So, Badger, why don't you roll? Uh, oh, call it Badger Strength. Badger See how much? Strength. Can I give him like a plus two or something from helping DM? Or my is my like yeah. human Unless, hands? Not... Yeah, your human hands are completely irrelevant uh, <laughs> okay. around around a giant badger. Yeah, giant badger, yeah, huge more claws. Than yeah, for sure. He thinks you're cute. <laughs> he probably just ignores you. All right, so just straight strength. Yeah, nineteen. You hear a mocking squeak from the badger. So yeah, the badger actually does a pretty decent job, um, throwing up dirt onto the fire. Uh, uh, I will try to avoid the badger with the moonbeam and not hit him. Yeah, the moonbeam is an interesting question. Yes. Um, I mean, I do like the creativity behind the notion that mm-hmm. radiant damage puts out fire damage. <laughs> I'm um, using more of the actual, like... Force, I think. Is the... Yeah, the actual force itself. Oh, I see. It's not the actual radiant flames. It's more of the action of the 
thing coming down. He saw a fire, he ran up, and he blew it up. I mean, the fire's probably out. Yeah. All right. Um, so... I guess because these aren't normal things that douse the fire, basically you're able to take care of the largest areas of conflagration. So the fire we... dies down. It's still kind of... Uh, smoldering in places but at this point you probably could use prestidigitation and druid craft to put it out completely if that's what you want to do prior to leaving i was saying then i'll follow up behind with uh the, the spell that i cannot pronounce to save my life prestidigitation yeah. yes that one we i was say i no i have time to say i i literally before last time i went to cast it I said it to myself 13 times. Still failed it when I tried to say it. Just uh, break it down into syllables. I did. I Trust me, I did all that. It, I can't. I, I don't know. Apparently that's the spell. That's the word I can't say. So. Well, I guess... I could say synonym, but I can't say that one. So. Prestige Digimon Station. I guess technically, Leger de Men means the same thing. Except in French. So that might be easier to say, though. I mean, honestly, yeah. Um, all right. So once you've uh, solved the problem that you created, um, you're going to go away from this place? I mean, at this and... point, have we already secured the cave? We kind of caved in the back. Oh, no, the ground. Never mind. Fine, so the ground. Wait. Badger, I'm confused. Was the badger throwing dirt on the fire, or was the badger on the fire? Block out, block up the the tunnel. No, it was on the fire. I haven't the done anything to collapse the tunnel because we said we were just. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's I heard you say that's it. That's why you did. Algalon is outside next to the tree that was on fire. Yeah, I think that was mentioned, but I don't think anything was done about it. Um, that's my bad. I thought something was done about it. Oops. Yeah. All good. Uh, and I'm actually going to stay in my giant badger form for the... I got two hours of this right. shit. We've got a badger and a bear. And he's faster um, than Algalon is. If only we had a snake. Yes. Uh, if only you had a snake. So, are you moving on then? Yeah, not too far away because we still need a long rest. Just the closest, like, decent campsite, I would guess. Unless okay. anyone else has any ideas. Like, how, how far away? Uh, less than an hour walk, so we don't start incurring exhaustion. Okay. Uh, Did Mother take a rest on Drazer's back during that? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to put this fire out when we leave. So. I don't want to have a badger. Very somewhere. good. Uh, um, so, yeah, not quite long enough to get a short rest on top of Drazer. Um, Drazer would transform or the short rest hour would be up. Um, are you looking for any kind of place in particular or just some place uh, to plop down? Defensible, but less if, trees, less it, trees. yeah, like with a like some kind of clearing, just something that, like, judging by the stuff we've been assaulted by tonight, like anywhere where we, it'd be like semi defensible for more of the same. Okay, but not a cave. Yeah, I mean, in this area, caves don't seem to be a great idea. So, you know what? I feel like sleeping under the stars tonight, honestly. Well, nice can we if, wish upon a star? If, if anyone <laughs> would know, uh, it would probably be you that, like, caves in most places around here are probably not a good idea. Okay, I wish I would have known that. I well, I did, I, did um, do, I did do an augury and say that the fates say it's a very bad idea to stay in the cave. But no, you're, you're true. Right? With my background and stuff, I should know that caves in this area aren't the safest thing to be in. Well, I mean, at the, at the very yeah. least, you're aware that like a lot of these caves are interlinked one way or another. Yeah. The point being is not as if we weren't forewarned. I, I don't know if I 
if you do not mind, could you perhaps do another one of those? Uh, I could, but if I did an augury again, uh, there's a there's there's a lot of taboos against doing more than one augury per day. It, sometimes it will give you random readings. Hmm. So uh, testing the fates is clearly not of your burden. That's not that's not really my style, no. I mean, I like could, but I, I could, but I, I wouldn't recommend necessarily trusting the information. That is fair. Do you want like a survival or something, Ivan, for me? Um, I mean, you're not. Well, you're trying to go. To a particular in a particular direction, or do you just want to move an hour away? Uh, I mean, preferably north if it looks safe. Because I mean, just because we're heading north anyway, so no sense in backtracking. Definitely right. don't want to head straight towards Salt Marsh. I guess would be the only direction I absolutely don't want to go take us in. Okay, so yeah, roll survival. Okay. Well, none of you, none of you druid-like creatures have guidance. Guidance wouldn't work on this because it's an extended action. And I'm a badger. Yeah, I'm a bear. Oh, and I've died. Yeah, the druids are indisposed. We're doing. Right. I play a, a nice riff on my lute. I'm a bard. <laughs> okay. So, um, could I perhaps you speak with animals as a ritual cast on our journey to try and maybe get a bit more help from uh, the actual denizens of this place? Um, if you want to cast a ritual, you'd have to arc for 10 minutes as opposed to keep moving away. Ah. Um, yeah, I'll just. I'll go ahead and spend a slot. I'll spend a slot, yeah. Okay. Great. How big are you? Are you considered a small? I am considered a small creature. Does that mean you can ride a medium beast like a giant badger? In a technical sense, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. I can I can ride mastiffs in a sense. Yeah, and they're medium. Yeah. So if you wanted to hop on a giant badger. Well, I didn't know that Algalong swung that way. They all swing that way around you, Mother. Mm. Uh, yeah, she'll go ahead and hop on Algalon if uh, he allows her to do so. And she will uh, go ahead and start communing with that. So you're just trying to find local I fun? Am... Converse trying to f I'm trying to find basically the best place that we can find a decent nice sleep that would be away from uh, cursed creatures or predators. I can use... I'm asking the, I'm asking the birds, I'm asking like squirrels and any smaller prey like creatures where they would recommend. Um how long have you been here on this Land, mother, maybe two or so months, a couple months or so, and most of that time you spent traveling, in traveling and searching for these folk. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I mean, um, it actually takes you a while to find anything to speak to because like right in the vicinity of the cave there appeared to be nothing to talk to um but as you move away yeah you do find a few squirrels and uh um uh, yeah they seem to recommend uh a hilltop um, some ways away from here. Which direction As is the, that? Um, they 
kind of squirrel squirrelly point you in a direction, but they're not really aware of cardinal directions. Um, it appears to be kind of at a tangent to the direction that uh, Ralston was leading you in. Uh, I will. I'll leave this up to Ralston. But um, you do notice as you speak to them that these don't look like the kind of squirrels that you're used to exactly. Uh, um, can you? Can I make an insight or nature check to see what is in particularly different, or is there I something you notice? Squirrels. <laughs> um, is, is there? Is this? <laughs> Is this your particular breed of reddish squirrel, or is is this some sort of natural albino particular creature? No, it's not a natural albino, but they do have webbed feet, and they have somewhat disturbingly red eyes. They're squirrels. No, yes. it's redding. Fish squirrels. Yeah, well, well, aren't you a cute little creature? You are quite a small <laughs> little thing. Yes. This doesn't look natural, right? Um, to mother, it doesn't look entirely natural, but the speak with animals seems to work on it. Um, for the remainder of the time after seeing uh, this particular detail, I'm going to also try and uh, gather to see what exactly has happened uh, to it after the last few days. What has happened to the squirrel? Yes. After uh, the last few days. For as long as it can remember. Um... The squirrel says... Nice. I like it. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. I'm fine. Uh, well, darling, you, you, you seem to have gained some uh, unrelated species characteristics to you. It seems that you have gained some sort of... Uh, fish-like appendages of sorts, and your eyes of all natural color. Ah. Uh, I don't know what natural means, but no, I'm a squirrel. I've always been this way. Uh, uh, are you a squirrel, or what are you called? Uh, uh, I'm a squirrel. You're, you're a and, squirrel. Yeah. yeah. All my are friends. Are you all the same as this? Nah. Some are a bit different. But some are a bit different? Yes. But most are like me, yeah. Has this changed recently after the last like couple of months or so? Year or so? You're using a lot of confusing words, but no. Really? I thought they were rather common. I thought it was talking squirrel. Uh, I, I apologize. I must have got my mama set out of the way. <laughs> you realize that there are, in fact, words for that in the squirrel language. <laughs> yes. It says, uh, I know sometimes it gets hot and sometimes it gets cold. And when it starts getting cold, uh, I have to collect acorns and oh. hide them. And let, let, let me ask you this. How many full moons have you seen since this last transformation? Uh, not really interested in what goes on up there. I mostly just uh, keep track of what goes on uh, in the trees and on the ground. You are very single-minded. I like you. Can I use my yeah. gene smell to see if anything smells off? Like if it smells similar to the hallucinogenic fungus I picked up next to that other city that we passed, I can't remember. Um, I mean, out here it's not so bad, but uh, where the tunnel was, you definitely smelled that um very very intensely. 
Okay. And it kind of seemed like the one that we found next to Sandal uh, west of Sandalin. Yeah, except worse. Okay. <clears throat> Mother is just gonna keep like kneeling down next to it, like just quietly talking to it. Uh are, are you does your family live close near here? Is it nearby? Have you been here long? Mm, yeah, well, um, depends on what you mean. I mean, uh, yeah, I have uh, brothers and sisters and such, but uh, after we grow up, we kind of part company. We don't really consider them family anymore. Uh, I'll I'll give a give it a pat on the head, just look at the others. Well, we have a hip heel top, which is going away from your direction. Uh, Ralston, uh, apart from that, they seem a bit different. Uh, can um, I make some kind of uh, arcana check to see if it's like a general blight on the land or something? Sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead the and... The idea does seem to impress itself on you. I mean, between the trees, which, aside from moving and trying to kill you, yeah, were covered with this. Some kind of... Mother, it seems like it's some kind of corruption on the very land itself and all the creatures that... Ah! As the badger nods his head. <laughs> the badger is frustrated. <laughs> the badger is mad. Um, let's see. I want I'm going that. to. I want to try and do something, but it's going to cost me another spell slot. The squirrels recommended a spot for us to rest. Yes, on the hilltop. That's that's where it recommended. Perhaps we should just get a long rest there. Bagelon starts slowly walking sure. in that direction. Uh, uh, as we walk away, I'm going to just cast Divine Sense and see if there's any undead within 60 feet. You've got slots left? Uh, this is something else. Be I can sure use this up to... Divine uh, Sense is just an inherent power you can use so many times per day. Right. Um... I do have three first levels. No, two first levels. I just used speak with animals. I don't have any second levels left. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought it was more like a primeval sense, but yes. Um... 60 feet. You do not detect any. No. Okay. Well, she's not undead. So at least that's one thing out of the way. Yeah, hilltops. Good as any other place. We'd we'll be diverting from your original course if that is fine with you. We're, is the direction of the hilltop towards Saltmarsh, by chance? Um, I mean, we, we haven't gone far. Perhaps we can... It doesn't matter really how far off course. We can just get back on course in the morning when we set out. Yeah. Just, yeah. And your retreat was slightly chaotic, um, so you're actually not sure if you're moving towards Saltmarsh or not right now. Okay. Well, couldn't I, with my Outlander background, couldn't I pinpoint our position? Because I'd always know at least, like, how to go straight back the way we came and then triangulate the chronal directions that way. Um, perhaps in the daylight. Okay, fair enough. The morning is wiser than the evening, as they That's say. Fair. Yeah, so let's do this hilltop then. I mean, it's probably our okay. first. So you managed um, to make your way up to the hilltop and 
set up your camp. Uh, I'm assuming you're keeping the same watches and just staying asleep longer into the morning. Yeah, and is it going to go it's... below freezing tonight? No, it actually... Um, yeah, and this is like what Drazer was able to determine before he became a bear again. Um, it is... Uh, a bit warmer than it normally is, or should be at this time of year. Uh, I mean, you've de you've definitely experienced a few frosts already uh, at the start of what the locals regard as winter, um, but okay. it actually seems rather mild tonight and should be on into tomorrow. Okay, so we can get away without a fire, essentially. Without yeah, I mean, if you have if you have like camping blankets, you should be okay. Good deal. Uh, before uh, I revert from my giant badger, I'm gonna dig out a little latrine off to the side. While we're setting up camp, okay. Mother is gonna cast a uh, detect a uh, ritual cast detect magic, and just get a general perimeter of the place, making sure that there isn't any hidden shit around our area that we're not going to get ambushed this time. No, I suppose um, I can do something similar with my owl as well. Just to fly around the perimeter? Sure, just looking for dangers or anything like that. Alright, so roll another perception for the owl. Um, uh, Fifteen. Yeah, I mean, aside from, I guess, what seems to be a normal complement of critters up in the trees and on the ground, um, there doesn't seem to be anything no obvious dangerous. dangerous. No, I mean, there's, like, animals, and yeah, some of them look a little bit strange, but, I mean, this is... A new continent, so you know. Sure, I'll, I'll relate that. It no, seems safe enough in the general vicinity. Yeah. So yeah, you don't see anything particularly <laughs> untoward aside from like squirrels and birds, rabbits. Is anyone else injured, other than myself? Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and cast um, Cure Wound on myself with a Healing Spell. Six and six. That should max me out. During my patrol, uh, Mother will expend another six Lay on Hands for herself to full as well. Okay. Also cast Goodberry before I go to bed. Damn, it feels good to heal myself. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, it feels good to have magic. Okay. Hey, um, sorry to uh, interrupt, but I have to dip. Apparently there's an emergency. So I am okay. very sorry. Oh, okay. You're, you're ducking out for the rest of the night, or as far as I know, it. Yeah, as far as I know, it's 